Let's think further about what Antigone says about the nature of law and justice. Imagine not only that a democratic body, through a fair and open debate, decides to prohibit the burial of this traitor Polynices. But imagine you are in a society that is coming out of a brutal civil war, a gruesome civil war, like ancient Thebes, in which one of the brothers, Polynices, was a traitor. He'd committed treason. He'd attacked his own country with a body of Argives. So imagine that, um, I don't know, that Jeb Bush um, is jealous of his brother and raises an army of, of Canadians and lays siege to Washington, D.C. That's what happened in Thebes. This had been a bloody war. And in the aftermath, the body of the democratic rulers of this city banned the burial of the traitor because of his act of treason. And they do it in order to prevent future traitors. In other words, they do it in order to prevent other people from raising an army and causing civil war and civil strife again. So now the question of justice is, is Antigone just in burying this, let's call him a terrorist, and preventing him from causing future mayhem? Or does she still have the power to obey what she believes are her religious duties in the name of Zeus to bury this terrorist? How do we weigh the just action in this situation?